Okay, here we are on the last day. Last day to get it all in. We are at the Sea of Galilee at the Church of the Beatitudes. Um, very holy site, very holy part of Israel. Beautiful land. shut the party down because they were getting busy there just a minute ago and now it's silent. In order to appreciate, I think this, and this is going to help you, I think anybody looks at gospel, you look at the Bible next time, things will fall into We're walking down to get some water. Why, why is our security always in front of me? I need to be protected. Casey, can you ask our security why he's always in front of me instead of behind me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here we are at the Sea of Galilee. This is where Jesus gave sermons where he walked on water. One of the more historical Christian sites here, as the sign says, is Shapurnum, the town of Jesus, where Jesus lived. Um, just left the Sea of Galilee, waded in the water. This is Capernaum, the town of Jesus, and this is an actual factual. It's not something that is disputed or in any way something that is just biblical. This is factual as well as in the Bible, the city where Jesus lived. Here we are waiting to cross the road to go see the Jordan River. Nothing really historic here other than it being the Jordan River. And just to, here's our security, putting himself in harm's way again. Love this guy. I don't know if he's gonna win this race with this 18 wheeler though. So he quickly moves, smart, smart guy. Here is the Jordan River. Ouch. So 
here we have, seems like a young group making a pilgrimage to Jordan and some of the boaters didn't, don't seem to have fared that well. Where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, it, where? Detroit. Where are you from? Israel. Oh, okay. What happened? What happened? Oh, we turned it around on purpose. Clear. Oh, on purpose. Sure you did. I didn't tell you the Where are you from? Dallas. And what, like, just came here on? Yes. Dale Ellis getting in the Jordan River. Not mad at you. The most dangerous part of the day of this whole trip is crossing. The, the Jordan Road. How you take care of him, old... Spencer Haywood trying to take care of him. He was actually supposed to leave today, but we drugged him last night and didn't let him go. Are you glad? That... I love the drugs. No. This <laughs> 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 just crazy. That's just bad joke. Cut, cut, yeah. cut. <laughs> Too late. This is a, this is a live stream. Oh Lord. <laughs> Here we are walking up and entering into a military outpost that was Syrian controlled. We're in the much disputed Golan Heights and this is a bunker that is overlooking an Israeli settlement and you know there's a lot of conflict, a lot of issues surrounding the Golan Heights and much of what we've seen throughout this trip has been beautiful, serene. This is reality. And now you're seeing really what this bunker overlooked. And it's all the valley, all the land of Israel, and it's on both sides, really. So you control this, you control everything that's around. And from a militaristic view, the high ground is always the superior ground. Genghis Khan, just kidding. <laughs> but it is beautiful up here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bridge down there. That bridge is crossing the Jordan River. Okay, okay there's a bridge over there, and if you look straight out in that direction, you can actually see some of the water coming down from the Jordan. Because the Jordan starts up there, flows down in this direction to the Sea of Galilee, meaning it starts up here. I mean, I'll give you a better map on this one here. Here, Jordan River is starting. Here we are again on another stop in the Golan Heights. And what you're noticing is there's a lot of vineyards out here in the Golan Heights. And this is one of the more fertile areas of this region. And so much of the wines that we've been drinking throughout this week have come from these areas. And right now we are overlooking into Syria. Here we are in a military encampment about to eat lunch overlooking Syria next to a tank and you see down here you got landmines where we will not be going this is the real deal right here Our security personnel on the other side of the bunker are always aware, always securing the perimeter. Love these guys, They're doing a great job. That road over there is And you see that blue flag out there? That's the Syrian flag. That's going to be Syria. Wow. 
Wow. So you got this kind of dramatic barbed wire, minefield signs, and you know, you definitely see your frontier land here. So that's like super, super close. So that's so where would you say the border is oh, with Syria? That well, that's the trees, the tree line there. Oh, the tree line is a border. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you can see that we're, we're looking at it from an odd angle, but also the trees out there uh -huh. are Syria. Uh, as we looked at it, where were we before? When we were looking at this before, you see that that was the hill. Remember we were underneath the mountain? Okay. Yeah. David said, "Don't take a picture of it." We were underneath that mountain on the Kissinger Overlook. So it's more or less underneath the mountain. We were looking this way. So from there, we were looking at the tree line here, and now we're kind of in the scenario, which is really a military area. So we're just going here. It's not really open for civilians on a regular basis. Okay. But, uh, you know. So this is this is restricted access where we're at right now. Yeah. see it from here so well, but it goes around and then it comes back. That patch over there is theirs as well. So those, that, the hills are ours over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, tree line, go around it, come around this way. We can't see the road, but there is a road that kind of cuts through and that road is more or less like um, more or less the border. And, 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 and so what's this place called where we're at here? We're called, it's called the Bustan. It's uh, on the, boost, the booster. The booster. And the this booster. is like an area where Water is that over there? That's a reservoir they built. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Pretty big reservoir. The mines on the inside ain't not out here. Not out here, but mines move, so you don't want to go real close. I mean, just back to some fence there, so that, you know, rain or away, you got, you know, wild boar that can, like kick up the mine a little bit. So, I would not see Here we are right now in a kibbutz. This is really our last journey here in Israel. And we have everybody partnered up in different rooms and we're all just taking a shower cleaning up before we take that flight home um, this is nicer than the kibbutz we went to earlier in the trip <laughs> it's more like a resort kibbutz but um yeah it's really nice and this kibbutz are really kind of like communal communities where everyone chips in you have no Possessions, everything is shared, oh. totally. <laughs> but yeah, in these kibbutz, everything's communal, so they give a little allowance once a month for personal items like cigarettes and whatnot. But other than that, it is all part of the community. Sharing is a beautiful thing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Love it. So I just wanted to briefly show you guys the inside of a kibbutz. This kibbutz has generously let us use it to take a quick shower before we embark on our trip home. And you got your bed, you got a TV, you got some AC in here. And then here you have the shower. And let me get going so we can get going. On a bus stop, a little 10 minute stop to get some coffee grab something to drink got about another 40 minutes this reminds me actually of Italy they would always have these great bus stops on the side of the highway that would serve the most ridiculous paninis that you've ever had in your life of course they'd have express roads etc but you just can't do that in the States stop at a gas station and get some awesome food but hey we got other things. Really? They're not gonna let me in? <laughs> that was kind of funny.